Hi, I'm Jay, paint expert from Rosine, and today I'm going to show you how to restain your home. I live in a single story cedar weatherboard house. Every couple of years I have to restain to keep the boards in good condition. I washed my house last weekend with Rosine Moss and Mold Killer. So the next step is to clean with Rosine Timber and Deck Wash. You have to use this every time you stain, whether it's a fence, your deck or your house. Make sure it stays wet on the surface for 10 to 15 minutes. Give it a really good scrub and make sure you wash it off thoroughly before you carry on. The better you clean with the timber and deck wash, the better the stain will look in the end. Wait for your walls to be completely dry and then you're ready to stain. Put your drop cloths down, get your safety gloves on and don't forget safety goggles. In these conditions, sunglasses will work just as well. Next step, pick a brush that you're comfortable with. Obviously it's going to depend on what size area you're staining, but 75mm Powell Legend is my go-to. You might want to use 100mm, you might want to use something smaller. Remember, as you're staining, it is going to feel heavy as the day goes on. I'm using the Solvent Born Resine Woodsman Wood Oil. It's tinted to the colour Resine Dark Oak. Because it's a dark colour, I'm using the Cool Colour version. The Cool Colour technology helps to reflect more of the sun's heat away from the surface. I use Resine Woodsman Wood Oil stain on my house because that was the original stain used. But if you've got new weatherboard or have previously used Resine Waterborne Woodsman, you can use that instead. When staining, start at the top and work down. That way, if you do end up dripping a little, you don't go over an area you've already finished. And try to keep to one or two boards at a time. That way you don't create lap marks or end up with stop-start marks through the middle of the board. The grain of the timber runs along the lengths of the boards and isn't smooth. It's got peaks and troughs. The resin stains penetrate into the timber, so it's really good at hiding all those little imperfections. Finish your first coat and then let it dry overnight so it's got plenty of time to penetrate into the timber. The next morning, if any area is still a little bit wet, leave it for another day to dry. But if your timber is dry, go ahead and apply your second and final coat. Once that's finished, your house will look as good as new. 